I notice when I do album reviews, I don't feel like I'm going into the depths as much as I would like to. So I'm gonna try out doing a review for two songs off the album. Just like before, I'm gonna be playing a couple seconds and then stopping it to avoid copyright. So please bear with me regarding that. The romance glide And everyone's dying So I keep on trying to make them proud before they are gone Especially growing up under parents or society that really wants to push you to be their version of great. You have all these expectations that you need to live up to. It's actually very suffocating. We should be living for ourselves, not for the expectations of other people, even the people we love. Sometimes what they believe would be a great life might not actually fit with what we want in our life. And a lot of times we might not know and that's okay too. It is in our best interest that we take things with a grain of salt. If there are things that actually resonate with us, then it's fine to work towards it. But if it's just to fulfill their vision, then we also need to make sure that we don't let ourselves get crushed by all of these expectations. Don't work so hard to try and achieve these things that we might not even necessarily want to achieve just to please the people before they die. Oh, please someone help me I don't care anyone, anything cause I'm so sick of being so lonely You really just want anything, something it doesn't matter if it's a person or a thing or whatever it is to come into your life to try and make you feel even a little bit less lonely. Sometimes they come, sometimes they don't. And as unfortunate as it is, in order for us to keep pushing forward, we also need to start recognizing that sometimes we might be the only ones that are there for us. I'm spending more than a Drink all the time to forget I'm not hurt. I think this song was written from a position of someone who feels like they are overshadowed and constantly living under the radar because of how successful the rest of her family is. She talks about how she's doing all of these distractions in order to avoid facing that they're not her. And I'm guessing in this situation, she's talking about her sister who has been able to achieve more fame than her, at least up to this point. Even if it's not about your sibling, I think all of us have felt these frustrations when no matter what we do, we're overshadowed. Our vision, our light, our passions, they're not being recognized. And I'll kiss a boy and pretend for the night Cause I don't know much about me this is almost that inflection point where she hits that lowest point, the dark night of the soul, where all of these thoughts are coming and she's almost thinking out loud. She starts to recognize she doesn't know herself yet, what she stands for, who she is, and what she believes in, which changes over time too, by the way. No one ever 100% knows. But she feels so uncertain that she knows that these external things are pushing her and confusing her. And she's just trying all of these different things, seeking all of these different things. It's not really helping because that's not where it comes from. I used to be, so I try way too hard, but I still miss the mark to fit in. She tries way too hard to be cool, to be liked, to be famous, whatever it is. She wants love, she wants attention, and I don't mean romantic love necessarily, she just wants to feel a companionship with anyone or anything. She doesn't even know anymore. She just needs and wants people. She wants something. She doesn't know herself yet. Then through this progression of the different songs, she reaches to this last song, the end of everything. And I really, really love how this wraps up. Everyone you love is gonna die. But darling, so is everything, don't cry. From the initial lesson, this song might seem morbid. 
but to me it's very much close to my philosophy on life. Everything and everyone is going to be gone. In 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 years, even our existence here won't necessarily be remembered. It used to bother me a lot. It really induces existential crisis. But what I came to learn is it actually started giving me a sense of freedom because all of these trivial things that we care about as society, as civilization, that we glorify or build up, like break our backs trying to achieve, trying to please people, trying to look good for people, trying to live up to people's expectations like she was talking about in the previous song. All of these things, they end up becoming so trivial in comparison to the grandness of the universe and the great movements of how the world will evolve over millions of years. And when you really see it in that perspective, because I think when you're in society, in Earth, it's very difficult to really step back and be like, wow, these are very insignificant pieces in time, if you look at the whole. But at the same time, we shouldn't be discouraged by that because that means we can really use this life not as trying to achieve a destination or a perfect place, but more as a journey for us to be able to live and experience our passions, our hobbies, whatever it is that gets to us. Try and fully immerse ourselves into this experience called life. The ups and downs, it's actually very beautiful especially during this crazy volatile times with the quarantine, the virus, everything politically happening, that she brought this song and released it so we can take a step back and really think and really reflect. And after that reflection, whatever way everyone wants to go, that's their own right. But what's important is we do take a moment to step back, to just reflect, to be mindful and figure out what really is reality? Everything you fear is gonna end All you hate and hurt lost Yes, everything is gonna die, even the ones you love But that means everything you fear, everything that brought you down in life is also gonna end Nothing good lasts, but nothing bad lasts either There are a lot of things that life throws at us that we don't really have a say in, and that's okay. Like one of the mottos that I try to live by is that there are many things that we cannot control, but what we can control, and our, our internal locus of control in a sense, is that we can control how we react to that situation, how we grow from it, how we learn from it. Everything is in the mentality. Nothing is ever black and white. If you look, life is all shades of gray. If we can gain lessons, gain things that help us going forward to become little by little a better person each day that can completely change something that is a bad, terrible event into something that is more gray. Nothing lasts forever, but we try so hard to leave some kind of a legacy in this world. Don't let trying to make a legacy, trying to put our name up on those rocks, achieve greatness. Don't let those things divert you or block you from living the life you actually really want because you want to live up to what society deems as great. Let yourself be able to live your passions, to experience life as you want it as well. Everyone you love is gonna die. So don't you let the moment pass you by. Don't you let the moment pass you by. She is urging the listeners to really rethink all we were taught about life. Don't let the moment pass you by. Understand that everything is futile. And as morbid as that feels, it's also extremely realistic. There really ain't no sadder thing. There really ain't no sweeter thing. The fact that we are suddenly freed 
from these social constructs. And now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying completely trash all of the rules. I'm not saying that. Of course, there are always gonna be the extremes. Some things are gonna need to exist for a societal structure to exist. And of course, over time, structures get overthrown, replaced, and that's a natural course of life. But also understand, really think about, do we want to spend our lives fighting, arguing, stressing about things that won't matter at the end of the day? Or do we want to spend this time to allow ourselves to feed our passions, to experience life, to carpe diem, to seize the day, to give love to the world, to help others, to make the world a bit of a better place, even if it's futile. I personally don't believe there is necessarily a purpose in life because it's so subjective. Everyone has different things they value, but there's no universal purpose. But if I had to put something to it, it's that in whatever it is, we should try to better ourselves. Whether that's art, whether that's your job, whatever you find brings value. Over time, slowly, slowly become a better version, better person, better whatever it is. And of course, as we push forward, it's going to be 10 steps forward, two steps back. We might fall. That's okay. Understand we're humans. It's okay to fail. Let yourself rest and have the time you need and then get up and push forward at your own comfortable pace. Don't let other people dictate your life. You and your experience and your journey, that is the most important thing to you. Nothing will matter at the end of the day. So take your life into your own hands and i know it's extremely difficult i'm not saying this is going to happen overnight or you watch this video and you're like wow i understand it's not like that but all i will challenge is start to really reflect and think about the beliefs you have the restraints the blockers in your life the energy drains whatever it is when we challenge our thinking is when we can grow when we can learn and see the parts that we need to change and work on Thank you guys so much for sticking around and hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, Aquarians.